Pearl Maid's up, finally. You got stuff on you. You got stuff on you guys. Yeah, Pearl Maid's up. Go check it out. But you can check it out on this channel now because everything is on this channel. Watch this. I love this camera pen. Best $3. I don't even think it was $3. Well, I'm good off that bloody website. I think it was like 20 cents. And they sent like four of them. <laughs> anyway, I had my lasagna, taunted my sister, did the pearl of bead, uploaded that, and now it's time for a bed, because I'm knackered. So, yeah. <sighs> See you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Goodbye. What you got there, mummy? The breakfast of champions. The breakfast of champions. Man, after all this driving, I think we deserve a uh, hash brown each. So, we got a little hash brownie and we got drinks. And I'm driving on the freeway, so I shouldn't be vlogging. But hi, good morning. Morning, guys. Oh, that was a good accident. Look at this whole plane that's waiting here. <sighs> Silly learner drivers. So, I'm um, going to the petrol station because my back feels good enough that I can mow the lawn. So I've got to go fill up our little petrol tin. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. So in about two hours time, I'm either going to be dead or feeling fantastic. And look, we even bought a bloody whippersnipper, brand new. Or what do you call it in another country? A weed whacker, uh, a line trimmer. Uh, yeah, in Australia, it's a whippersnipper. So yeah. We're gonna mow the lawn, zoom, and then we're gonna whip a snip on, zing, and the lawn's gonna look fantastic, or because it's been nearly two months, because my back was sore for I want to say seven weeks. So yeah, it's nearly two months since I mowed the lawn, and that's atrocious. And granted, because it was summer and hot, the lawn didn't grow much. But now that we've had a couple of rainy days, and the weather is colder, and the moisture is staying in the ground. Um, the back lawn has sort of sprouted this long, probably in the last four or five days. It's just crazy. So I've got to cut that shit. We're on our way home. We're on our way home. Um, hold on, bear with me a second. Let me just change lanes without killing us in the car. And um, yeah, so yesterday we went and we had a look. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be looking at you. I'm going to be looking at the road. You sound that important <laughs> in comparison to the circumstance. But yeah, we're... Um, we went yesterday because mum and I are, were thinking of opening a store because as you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, the reason that you never really see any of us go to work or whatever is because we have a business at home on the computer. So my mum and I um, have uh, a business, we sell everything, we sell like clue, uh, clues, shoes, clothes, accessories, makeup, jewellery, um, we've just started to branch out into menswear and stuff like that. We sell a lot of like cookbooks, like Jamie Oliver cookbooks and um, just pretty much a bit of everything. So we're such shopaholics and such hoarders that we, what's that noise? That, um, that yeah, we've got like five years of built up stock and there's a sneaky speed camera here. like five years of built up stock that we're just never going to get through in a million years and it's really quite lonely working online. Um, Tanner used to um, be a compu IT computer tech and um, he stopped doing it because it's just so lonely like you're never interacting with anyone so um, we found a place in our hometown which is where our grandparents live where we always travel and stuff and they only want $145 a week rent for this massive store. It's a really good store and it was already a boutique. So they've already pretty much got the fittings and it's um, they've got the change rooms and everything. So it's going to work out perfectly. Um, it's a good size for the amount of money and for that size shop in Melbourne we'd be paying like $500 a week. So small country town, they don't have, okay this is this is for example, they don't have a shoe store, they don't have a clothing store, they don't have a jewelry store, they don't have an accessory store, they don't have a book store, they don't, what else don't they have? Mum, they don't really have jack shit, do they? At the moment, no. Um, and I said to mum, 
I go, do you think that is going to be like a scary thing that none of these stores have, have survived more or less? And she said that if we were opening just a, one of those stores, like just a shoe store or just a clothing store, whatever, then yeah, it would be scary. But because we're opening an emporium, which means that we're going to sell a little bit of everything, we should do really well because we'll be catering for everyone that lives there, more or less. So, um, yeah, that's what we went there for. We went and met the guy and um, he's got a bit of a crush on mum. Oh, he had man, he did not know what to say, okay? He was like... He was just a nervous person. No, he wasn't a nervous person. He had a crush on mum. Anyway, he so... He gave us the first two weeks free rent. Yeah, he gave us the first... Oh, no, mum, it doesn't have a crush <laughs> on you. Yeah, he gave us the first two weeks free rent so that we could, um, you know, get it all ready and stuff like that because the shop is currently pink <laughs> so um yeah we're gonna paint it like magnolia cream and everything so yeah but that's what we're doing so we'll still be living in melbourne yeah we'll still yeah we'll still be living in melbourne except i'm gonna spend because we're only gonna be open wednesday thursday friday saturday because they're the busiest shopping days there so um so yeah, I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna go up there and work on Wednesday and Thursday, and Mum's gonna work on Friday and Saturday, so that I've got the weekends. So yeah, you won't see me on Wednesday or uh, Thursday, and you won't see Mum on Friday or Saturday as of pretty much the first of April. We said, yeah. Speed camera. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's about it. And if you're wondering why we keep saying hi, it's because we always wave at speed cameras in case they catch us some um, speeding. <laughs> they're mounted high, like on the telephone. They're mounted, yeah. They're mounted really high, like at the like um, a street sign. And yeah, we're just like I usually give them the peace sign, but it's easier to wave. Um, yeah. So that is what we were doing and that is what we are doing so the next I apologize in advance for the fact that the house is gonna be filthy over the next two weeks not because filthy, no messy. because there's yeah that's what I mean like there's gonna be shit everywhere not shit not there's shit going to be there's stock going to be stock everywhere. everywhere while we price and pack and everything like that so the next month is gonna be hectic. flat out hectic exhausting um, so yeah we probably Probably won't be very lively over the next couple of weeks because we'll be just be freaking out a bit. So, yeah, I gotta go because I really want to eat my hash brown. Bye. This beast of a thing. Can we look at each other? We just get home and ew. What are you doing? Oh, look who's home. Look who's home. It's the merging of the vlog. Hi. <laughs> Street sweeper. You want some of this? Give me a finger for a sec. I want to test something. <laughs> <laughs> Donald's a bit stinky lately and these, look, can you hold that? I haven't seen these since I was a kid, look, scratch and stiff, <laughs> scratch and stiff stickers, look. <laughs> That's so cool. No, I want to get the M&M ones. They are m and ones. <laughs> <laughs> they smell like M and M's. You can't smell like M and M's. That's so cool. I wonder if it's hot. It smells like melty chocolate. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm a good. Visiting fireboxes. It's dark in here. I will light the way. 
Dun 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 dun. Oh, you can press his head too. <laughs> You're worse than I am, Mum. Bloody kid. Hey, you notice that Kmart don't have our dinosaurs. Kmart sucks. Oh, the Target has the, the dinosaurs. dinosaurs. The Target's shit. I hate Target. Stupid Target. I Look at all dinosaurs. this Easter chocolate. Um, there's all, they're all bunnies on both sides. They might have that huge Whitman sampler. I'm not buying you that huge Whitman that sampler. Whitman sampler. <sighs> That's a lot of chucky. Enormous. Oh my god, more bunnies. Wow, right, yeah. We'll get this for your daughter. I was joking, she's serious. Shut up. So because I had all my energy drained today, I'm not cooking dinner tonight. <gasps> this is my attempt at cooking dinner. I'm gonna buy a loaf of bread and some cheese, and we're gonna put this in there with it, and we're having toasted spaghetti and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> That's what I'm having. I'm ready for bed right now, and it's like four o'clock in the oven. I'm knackered. Nearly run over those people. Because people are dumb and it's kind of hard to miss a sign. Lasagna. Is it ready? Better not be blowing that my direction unless that's my piece. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bye. This was the last bit. <laughs>